Hey, how's it going? And uh, welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And in this video, we'll be getting the Vigilant Enforcer armor set, which is pretty decent armor, in my opinion. Uh, now, remember, this series is just me getting them. So for full specs, close-ups and thoughts, check the links in the description box below for the full review video. Anyway, let's go get it. And so the gang's all here, just outside White Run. Now, my advice to you, if you're actually following this like little adventure, is uh, not to use a carriage like I am. I'm only doing this for the speed of the videos. I'm only going by horse where I can. But if I was you, I would actually use a horse um, because you've got the speed to get away from any enemies, which is your biggest danger at a low level. You're easily killed. Um, but with a horse, you can escape quite easily and you can discover an awful lot of stuff on on the way which will help you later on in the game um, I've got to apologize for some of the video quality at the moment my PC is literally on its last legs um, I'm actually swapping over some lighter video editing software uh, to kind of I I hope it makes a bit of a difference oh a vampire Good night. Yeah, by now you should have seen the uh, Umbra video. Hopefully, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. So I was a little bit concerned whether I'd be able to do that one on uh, at this level, but. Uh, the way I specced out the character, it's uh, yeah, it was actually completely doable. Bit, <laughs> it was a horrible bus fight. It really was horrible. Yeah, but we did it. I think it would have been very, very tricky to do without followers. If I'm going to be brutally honest, it's possible you could do it. Oh, and the Hall of Vigilance here, if you come here past level 10, will be destroyed. Um, but if you come at level 1, as we are, it's still here and everyone's still alive. Careful. If you use the alternative uh, start mod, you can actually start here if you want to. if that's a uh, kind of a bit of a role-playing thing for you the mercy of stendar does not extend to daedra worshippers the suffering the daedra cause will not ah, go unpunished Yeah, everything's marked for still here. Or we will drag you to it. <laughs> the suffering the Daedra cause will not go on to Daedra worshippers. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I made a massive boo boo. I don't think I discovered Dawnstar when I arrived. So uh, we have to go back by horsey.
Oh yeah, let's uh, discover this while we're here. Yeah, that'll do. Now, I don't think I'm going to do a few of the mods like um, Pets of Skyrim. If you want me to do that one, uh, let me know in the comments. There's a few which I'm not going to do. The ones which you just buy in like Rare Curios and stuff like that. I might do a video mentioning them um, at the end of the series or something. But I don't think anybody wants to look at the views. Not many people are watching these anyway. But uh, I don't think anybody wants to watch me running around Skyrim uh, picking up pets and stuff. I'll, I'll stick this. I'll get them, but uh, I won't do videos on them. But I will do a video on a curse. It has to these be. mods, which I think are actually worth buying, or which I would buy anyway. Irvner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandor. Listen to your it's friend. Nice to be here. Keep it cold. They are just <laughs> dreams, my dear. Assure you that it is quite bad. It's a same dream over and over again. <coughs> you think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Arandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Never much yes. Actually, to be fair to, to this mod, you know, the, the, this, this little quest is quite interesting. It's quite, it's short, but it's, um, you know, reasonably well thought out. And there's a lot, a few parts of this game which I really don't think were explored enough. I mean, clearly they didn't have enough people and maybe enough time or resources. But things like um, the Civil War, I think, was woefully... Um, woefully let down by the story so well, there should be a lot more to it and actually the vigil of stendars as well i think should have been a much bigger uh, a much bigger part to play in the game One tough skiver. <laughs> that is one tough skiver. Jesus. Sure, there's a chest in here somewhere. Ah, oh, there you go. And for, for those of you who have prob problems uh, lock picking, um, I did a video explaining this. Uh, go check it out. It's actually quite easy.
Okay, so we've got to follow... Um, what's his name? Harold, I think. Let's wait till evening. So you're given several choices of people to, to follow here. Each one's got like a little quest marker on him. Um, Harold, he's the guy you want to follow. So don't waste your time with the others. And all these others will disappear from the game once you've actually completed this uh, this quest. But to be fair, they don't have an awful lot of dialogue or anything. That's a shame though. It'd be nice to have some more characters and maybe a few more storylines with them. Anyway, just keep on waiting. And there he goes. Okay, I'd always suggest a quick saving at this point because, um, or just in case uh, you get a glitch or something. Now, old Harold here seems to have an extraordinarily sense of sight, so uh, the chance are he's going to probably get out of the way. Um, he's probably going to see you, so all you do is just duck out of the way for a bit until you're out of his um, freakishly wide uh, peripheral vision, and then you're good to go again. Yeah, that's all that's going to happen. Frost took my husband years ago. He was a good man. Now, the thing is, if you keep on staying in his sight and stuff, all you'll do is just start moving around in circles. He won't actually complete the whole path. Um, it gets a little bit trickier in the, uh, in the mine itself. So if you're doing this at a high level with high levels of sneak and all the perks and sneak, this would be no bother at all. But level one, and I've got no perks in anything at all. Um, it's a little bit trickier, but not hard. Nothing in Skyrim is hard. Probably doesn't help. I've got a load of Herberts following me as well. Yeah, you see there? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we failed that, so we have to hide away and get out of his way. Because all he does, if he sees you, he'll turn around and come back, and he won't, as I say, complete his path. There you go, he's heading back now.
Oh, damn it, Sammy, so he's coming back again. Okay. And if you do lose him, there's a button on the side of the wall you can uh, press. Which will open up a secret door. Okay, yeah. This quest marker started to fade there, so... Should be good to go. Yeah, if you lose him, there will be uh, this will be closed off by a secret door. So there's a button nearby which you, should, which you can press. And a bit of a quick save here. Okay. Uh, that'll do. The vampire, so uh, give him a give him a bit of heat. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now, all we've got to do is run around, search all the bodies, search everywhere, and you'll pick up all your armor. You do pick up some pretty decent stuff here as well. Some stuff you can uh, disenchant and you know, vampire dust and, oh, ring of minor archery, dagger, so that's good. Okay, I'll just uh, transfer some over to Boney. Okay. Now all this stuff, watch the video uh, I did the review, all this stuff is actually comes unenchanted and you can actually smith it as well, so.
And you've got the Veggie Silver Hand set here as well, which I think is actually the best looking out of all of them. Yeah, so the weight of all this armour, um, you know, you, you need to have a follower with you. I suppose you could always come back in and uh, pick it up later, I guess, but it's all very heavy. Okay, I'm sure I've missed some stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. sell all this stuff. Ah, that'll do. Yes, yeah, so we've got all the sets. An interesting little quest with, with quite a good little backstory actually. It's uh yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, let's uh, take a well, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, head over to White Run and we'll um, yeah take a look at all this stuff. So here we are. The uh, Vigil Enforcer armor set comes in four flavors: the Corrupted Enforcer, Veteran, and Silver Hand sets. All heavy coming at 58 with an open helmet and 59 with a closed one. The protection is also the same whichever set you use, coming at 85 with an open helmet and 87 with a closed one. All are unenchanted, the armour stats are identical to steel plate and can be smithed using iron and steel ingots and require the steel smithing perk. Um, like I said, check out the link in the description box below for details, specs, etc. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next one. Love you.